We're reacting to angry cops. Let's hop into the video. A soldier caught in a viral worst date ever. Oh my God, don't tell me. I mean, when they say soldier, it's most likely an army guy. I hope he's not a Fort Bragg or anything. I fixed my camera. It's a little bit off center, but let's dive in. I killed my daughter to be with you. Stop. 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 What? Stop. No, no, no. My parents committed suicide when I was a minor. Hey, hey. What? Hey. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Honestly, no, I'm not okay. Dating is hard. It's very difficult. A lot of people use dating See, apps they, now. What? Every once in a while, uh, a dating app story breaks the internet, and this is one of them. And unfortunately, oh my. it involves a soldier. Uh oh, that's right. It's no PV2. It's a warrant officer too. Hey, chief, warrant officer. You're dating app good for you, buddy, and not some fat dependa or stripper, but some hottie Instagram model. Oh, Use quotes for Instagram model there. Who right, 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 right. And by now, you'd think that we would understand the hot to crazy ratio. She might Rax. have broken that scale because you could certainly be an eight to a ten in looks, but Rax. she goes to a twelve plus in crazy. The extended scale on the hot crazy matrix, yes. An anomaly, but very real. What puts this lady on a 12 plus on the crazy scale? Right. Fake dates, dozens of fake social media profiles, fake businesses, fake cures for cancer, and potentially scamming people with certificates of which mean absolutely nothing and charging them $500 for them. Oh. What? This what? Charge of 500, uh huh? Scott. Way more crazy than I expected once I went down this rabbit hole. So join me, won't you, on this ridiculous iceberg of what started with just a bad date and ended up into felony charges and an investigation from the FDA. Oh, but before you cuddle up. From the FDA? Who is this crazy hot chick? Oh God. Find your couch and your PJs with your favorite comforter, a bowl of popcorn and your most delicious oh, man, screw oh, top man. bottle of wine. First, a word from this video sponsor, Lumen. Lumen. Get your money, AC. Let's get to the craziness. Let's get to the craziness. We're gonna call him, well, we're gonna call him Chief. For the most What's part. up, Chief? And he is just a gentleman trying to find love on a Mormon dating app. I wish A oh, Mormon da <laughs> dating done. app? I'm done dating. <laughs> And our bipolar beauty, Brie Powers. You know, I'm not okay. Don't say your name all the way through. She will appear and key your car. Whoa. We're going to start it out with these two lovebirds date, how it went. And then we're going to go into some more of the crazy antics that somebody did. Brie, <laughs> and DJ. <laughs> AC, hold on. This is the thumbnail. I'm sorry. I got to get my thumbnails in. That's the thumbnail. Dating app. They get together, they link up, and right. I guess it went pretty poorly because what Bree did was record Chief here, get into his car, berating him, calling him ugly, all the Damn. new words, saying that he stiffed her, oh, cheapo, and that didn't want to pay for some teeth whitening that he was going to get done with her anyway. So what? what did she do as a reasonable young lady? Well, she took that video of her screaming at the Chief and put it up all over the internet. And then went on a whole bunch of Facebook and social media accounts trying right. to say that he was a creeper and then tear down the business that he started and Damn. Then make everybody hate him and make up more lies. So right, right. what I'm here to do, Bree, is to set the record straight because if you come for one of us, you come for, come all, for all of us. us. You yeah. crazy. Hey. I've seen too many soldiers lives ruined by a nut job broad. It's time we stood up for one another. Yeah. Gentlemen, this is our story. So quick recap. Assemble. Yeah, DJ and Bree meet on the Mormon version of Farmers Only. DJ right. kicks off the conversation with saying, hey, you're a teeth whitener. I could use my teeth whitened. You free today? I get out of work at 1600. Right. Uh, but I stop over your shop, you whiten my teeth, and then if we like each other, yeah, we'll go out on a date and continue hanging out for the rest of the night. W you pick up By mine, way, W you pick I up am mine. I'm coming from my military job, so I will be in uniform. Do you got a bathroom to change in? Right. Bree's first response is, I'm getting evicted and I need $2,500. Oh, ah, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. I am not your husband. I'm not your boyfriend out of a two years. Pay your own damn bill. Ooh. Ooh, red flag. Chief, chief. Come on, chief. Chief, chief. And chief was like, I can save her. <laughs>
<laughs> Chief did say in his response video that, yeah, that was kind of a red flag, but she is fairly hot. I'm getting evicted and I have $2,000 oh. of rent to pay. Yeah, that's a red flag. I was just trying to get my foot in the door for a nice date with a beautiful woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, and red flag, look at Chief. Bree's Instagram accounts, one of the many that she has created. Yeah. Little hottie, little hottie bumbleotti, you know? Lot yeah, of, yeah. Lot of work done. But hey, some people are into that, you know? Yeah, some people are into that AC, but like, yeah, let's be real. Me seeing this picture, big red flag. They're looking for that moolah. A lot of work done. That but hey, money. some people are into that, you know? I guess. So Chief gets out of work. He says, hey, is there a place to park? Reacts like a crazy person and is like, park on the street. Chief gets yeah, the location, okay. can't find parking, texts Bree again. Hey, what's right. up with the parking? It's kind of weird. I'm just going to park in the spot. Bree, once again, flips out, can't park there. Park on the street. Like a horrible gremlin. And when Chief Damn. rolls up in his handsome uniform, looking tall, light, and handsome, right. opens up the door to Bree's boutique, where she does teeth whitening, microblading for eyebrows, and permanent makeup shenanigans. Oh, jeez. Well, he is greeted with nothing but contempt and ass pain. Okay, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> so he decides, you know what? I've seen enough here. I'm just gonna slowly back out of here. Live yep. to fight another day. And we won't have to have any sort of confrontation. Well, that, that is not what Bree wanted. Oh God. She starts filming and she chases me out the door. I'm not kidding. Even though she never said it in any of their texts back and forth, decides right. in that moment that if somebody cancels their teeth whitening appointment with her. They owe a minimum of a $100 cancellation fee from the $200 whitening fee. And so Chief says, no, you didn't say that before. This is yep. all just yep. going really bad. I'm yep. just gonna leave, Get her out of here. have a nice day. And yep. then that's when Brie pops up with her fantastic cam quartering and her crazy mouth words. Now, like I said, we've all gone through bad dates and this one was yeah. exceptionally horrible. And Chief breaks it down in a video of his entire experience. I'll link it below. And he even saves the receipts. All the oh, he got the receipts. Them, showing how crazy Bree really is. But hey, the W Chief, but learn the red flags from the profile picture and the first message. Come on, Chief. Doesn't even touch the tip of the iceberg of how crazy Bree is because crazy, Bree crazy. Is Super crazy. Crazy. And before I go any further, I have exhibit A to show you oh. about the crazy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's break it down. Part Listen, one. No, I'm not okay. My parents committed suicide when I was a minor, and it says that on my Mormon dating app. What is that? What? Have to do with anything, Bree? What is that? Have to do with anything? What? Just, hey, are you no Why are you gonna put that in your dating profile? Yeah. Red flag number two, Chief. Let's keep track. Hey, my That's two red flags. Killed themselves when I was a child. AC. And it says that. See, this is how you make yourself a meme, AC. J just like shit like this. She doesn't even blink. She's just so cockeyed, crazy eyed, <laughs> making the. <laughs> I, just, I just want you to know. It says I don't want you to know. Crazy eyes. She's got crazy eyes, and I know red flag number three. A damning thing, but the tone, yep. the sociopathic stare, and the, 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 the cock-eyed. Yeah, I'm still trying to be Instagram out. There, are, this is this is the scariest shit I've seen, and red, I've red seen flag men number three. detonate themselves in suicide vests on Live Week when I was 12 years old. For the entire time she talks, she just widens her eyes even more while she's talking. They're all crazy. <laughs> Every single one of her videos are absolutely crazy like this. I just wanted you to get a taste. Of, okay. Uh, just the tone of her voice, the way everything is happening, the, this entire thing. Do you see her right here? Do you see this thing? Even her TikTok profile, red flag number four. Let's go. And right here, everything in this is screaming, I will cut off your dick and throw it hey, into the field. Now, once Brie went to the internets and posted this ridiculous story, all filled with lies, throwing Chief under the bus, and right. then trying to like kill his business and Google review bomb it and Go on All these extra shit. Mormon dating app, Facebook, everything's on the social medias to try and get him in trouble. The Mormon dating app company contacted Chief and left him this message saying, hey, you get in for free now. We're so sorry. Damn. 
we are so sorry that this happened to you. We just want to make sure you knew that this person has been banned from Mutual. Whenever you're ready to start dating again, let us know. We will set you up with a premium membership for life. The owner of the for company life. Let's be go. W. To to remember to conduct hey, chief. Five hey, chief. Oh, no. She got a ring off it. I want to say, hey, chief. She's single. You better get with that one. Some 25s to avoid the next landmine. So that's the full internet blow up that we have nice. at the moment. Oh, but we're doing a deep dive into crazy Bree here because the chief walked away, I would say, scot free, free yep. out of this one, and it could have ended so much worse. So let's start the story that is Bree Summers. That's one of the names she uses. Oh. She uses multiple names. Not a red flag. Totally a red flag. Absolutely. Red flag number five. Let's keep going. Number five, y'all keep track. Absolutely red flag. Let's keep track. We got five right now. Let's get into Brie and her got five. very Brie background. Who is Brie? Every story starts with childhood, and well, Brie didn't have a very good one. Mom died by suicide at six, potentially. Wow. Dad died at 14, also potentially by suicide. Wow. Was given to her grandmother and then apparently awarded to the state and was in foster care from her age of 14 until she graduated high school. Now, there isn't much to know about her in high school, but she did get a bill passed in Utah, which allows foster kids to go to social events. She wanted to go to prom or some sort of cheer event that was out of state. And because of foster care and its limitations, she wasn't right, able right. to. But she talked to some Utah politicians and got the law changed. So then kids that are in foster care can go out of state or overnight. That's pretty good. Field pretty good. Trip or Very good. School exercise or events. But the story changes immediately out of high school because here you'll see a young Brie on the Utah Dolls website where she is an escort. Red flag number six. Keep a track in the comments. Wow. Right out of high school. Damn. Turn it into an escort. Dang. That stinks. That definitely won't set you up for some psychological damage in the future. Now it's perhaps right. here and maybe later on in life when Brie enrolls in numerous competitions to become the cover girl for Maxim Magazine and a new star rising in New Zealand Playboy. I'm sure right. the time being an escort and trying to get involved in like the beauty and aesthetic career that is Maxim and Playboy that she realized, hey, I'm an attractive person that can use that to manipulate people. Everybody around me is trying to manipulate right. me. Why don't I just play that game fair and square? So Bree's story so far is 18-year-old escort and then trying yep. to get on Maxim and Playboy using her feminine wiles in order to create a career. I can only assume that that was probably not so great for her mental health and assisted in creating the Bree that is now. Since then, Brie has had two separate OnlyFans accounts. One what? posted back in 2020, which links no longer go to it. And one now that is currently up. I can only assume what's on that. I ain't buying it. Mm -mm, no. Definitely not buying it. Y'all boys are not look it up either. Lock in, fellas. Look at me. Lock in right now. Do not look it up. Thank you for finding those OnlyFans pages was difficult enough because she makes an Instagram account for each business she's ever had and for every one of her split personalities, which is Damn. just whenever it gets blown up because she does something stupid, she creates a new one, but uses all the same photos and all the same videos every right. single time. There's literally over a dozen different Instagram, Twitter, Facebooks of Brie and her businesses. <gasps> her businesses. Let's talk, talk about, about those that. businesses. Let's talk about those real quick. So, so far, we got, what, six red flags, seven? You see, six, I'm not six. exactly sure how Brie can do teeth whitening in Utah. Uh, both of her LLCs are expired. Oh! One died in 2022, and one is currently up as of, I think, June, because she's failed to pay it. So, Brie owns a business with zero business licensing. Right. And she does teeth whitening, which, up until a point, you don't need a certificate for, but once you start using dental tools, you do. Yes, so is you do. So using dental tools for a business of which she doesn't have an LLC for? Oh, but right. those are just two of her businesses. Because, of course, Brie would get involved in multi-level marketing where she sold collagen. And one of the things that she says on her site selling her collagen from this multi-level marketing thing is that collagen cures cancer. Red flag number seven. I lost track at this point. There's so many red flags with this woman. Oh, my God. And if you read the post about collagen curing cancer, 
it reads like some sort of crazy person trying to sell you something. It makes right, zero like snake sense. oil. But let's get back to the business that the young warrant officer was trying to get involved with. Right, the teeth and the whitening. What goes on at the boutique that Bree is running? Well, right. it's permanent makeup, like doing your brows and like tattooing small right, micro mini right, tattoos. Right, 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 right. And Utah says that you don't need a cosmetic license for any of those things. Okay. All okay, right. that, I mean, yeah, that's their law. But the weird thing about that is, is that Bree says that she's a licensed cosmetologist and licensed in other things. But when I run her name through the different businesses and her businesses through the different businesses, through the different businesses, looking the businesses. for the certificate, well, the cosmetology license doesn't exist. Oh! Why doesn't it exist? Oh, that's because she's a violent felon, and you can't oh. get a cosmetology license if you're a... Uh, red flag number eight. Keep track. Throw it on their forehead. Oh! And talking about not needing any sort of certificate or training in order to do the microblading and the permanent right, makeup right. accessory shenanigans that it's called, like PMAU or PM... P P permanent Makeup Artist. Oh, excuse me. It's like PMA. Primary... Permanent makeup artist. Well, you don't need a license for it, right? Right. Bree's selling licensing for it. Hey, come get this certificate for $550. Is that not a scam? I don't know what to tell y'all guys. Are y'all actually biased? You might need some help. Um, and then you can practice this shit. You don't need the certificate. This is a fraudulent business. Yes, Bree's it is. literally yep. giving you a worthless piece of paper saying that you gave her $500 and you can do the shit that you don't need a certificate for. <laughs> so we're scamming people? Is that what we're doing? Because that seems yeah, like we're a scamming. scam. Yeah, that is a scam. Oh, speaking of scams, though, wouldn't you want to have a life coach from Bree? Bree the life coach, everybody. Bree the life coach. She's a life coach. For $3,500, Bree could be... Red flag number nine. Be your life coach and teach you how to, you know, swindle people oh. out of five hundred fifty dollars for a certificate that they don't need that the state says is not necessary. Oh, let's, right. and let's learn business practices from her. Let's go to Google. Let's go look at her business. What's it rated? Oh, a lot of five stars. Oh, look, a complaint. Oh. Somebody says that they took down the one star rating. Oh, damn. Well, that's weird. Why would you take down the one star rating? Oh, and if we go to the bottom of it, every single rating is the same five words. It doesn't seem like you don't like she made multiple accounts and copy and paste it spammed your own reviews on Google. Oh, but wait, I yep. forgot. I already said that she was a felon. What, what do you mean? She's been arrested, AC? Yes, she has. Boom. Would you look at that Excel spreadsheet? What's that? Aggravated assault, a felony, three separate occasions. How the hell she's... Who posted bond for this woman? I'm looking at everything. Not guilty. Guilty. Not guilty. What? What? She should be in jail. What's that? Violating an order of protection in order to go like stop no, or harass somebody? No, she got so much charges. Times. So not only is she out here just felony assaulting... Red flag number 11. Let's keep it going. ...out of people on multiple times. She's also violating orders of protection. People saying, I need a judge to tell Bree to get away from me and Bree going. Ha! Huh? Yeah. Huh? Nah. And she's still out? She's still out? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Streets, trying to take money and scam soldiers out of $100 for cancellation fees for teeth whitening. That's what I'm saying. Quick recap. So let me break this down quickly. Here's Bree. <clears throat> Crazy hot model. 18 year old escort. Up yep. to the young 20s. She's trying to get in Maxim and Playboy to be a cover girl. Fails right. out of that. Comes back home and starts doing businesses and things. But what are these businesses? Well, mm, they're kind of fraudulent and not real. Uh, right. Lying about college and, you know, curing cancer. Letting all of her businesses expire. Trying to sell certificates right. of which you do not need a certificate. Trying right. to sell $3,500 life coaching advice when your whole life is a train wreck. Trying to put a soldier on blast because he didn't want to go on a date with you because you're obviously a crazy nut job assaulting everybody and violating orders of protection. Whoa. But the creme de la creme is that because of this whole thing, of course, this narcissist would play the victim. Right. She started a GoFundMe, and the GoFundMe 
is Chef's Kiss Delicious. Let me bring you to the GoFundMe for Bree Summers. All right, let's Once hear it. again, written like a crazy person, and I'll read it out loud for you. This GoFundMe sounds as though it's a charitable organization raising money for a cause, but then falls completely on its face into shambles towards the middle and then the end when Bree starts talking in the first person. Empower foster kids and survivors with Brianna. Zero dollars out of its $85,000 goal. I'm assuming <laughs> the foster kids and survivors is just code for give me the money. But let's read right. on. Unity Group Foundation is a nonprofit program. It's a mentorship program providing free education to adult foster kids and domestic violence victims or sex traffic victims. Oh, we're just, oh, and there's and there's a comma. We're just going to keep going with this run on sentence. Cool. <laughs> Unity Crew Foundation is not a 501c3, but Unity Crew could become a 501c3. Who's in brain cells? What? So it starts off as a non-for-profit program, but then it's a mentorship program for free education to adult foster kids? Self-made Utah foster Adult foster kids. Foster kid Brianna Powers. So you made yourself a Utah foster kid? Or, oh, you, I get it, oh, I get it. You've God. created your own business. You're a self-made woman, and you happen to be a Utah foster right. kid, Brianna Powers who passed the normalcy law for foster kids at just 17 years old in the state of Utah runs and coordinates this program. So see, here we go. It says she, Brianna, she talking in the third person. This is the right. business saying that like this person works with us. She understands the needs of young women and men that I've been through trauma. Uh Oh, did we uh -oh. just switch into the first person Brie? She's also diagnosed with ADHD. So she's understanding of learning disabilities. Holy shit. There's I'm tired of people using ADD and ADHD as a learning disability. Fucking just, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. Just the extremes, yes. But every fucking kid that's got ADHD is now, I got a landing down. No, you don't. You just fucking <laughs> have to go outside and run around. And we just got to get that energy burn up out of you and just teach you a different way of learning. Right. She brings right. perspective Facts. to the youth life as a young now lady back in third person. had her foster parents throw all of her stuff on the front lawn. The moment she became a legal adult, she is self-made. Went back to the first person, third person, first person, third person, first person, third. You get it? And has had to go through many hard trials so she could be able to share her experience with others and help others get through their hardships. Holy run on sentences, Bree. What are we doing here? You know, chat GPT can fix that for you, Bree. Just throwing it out. I should not give it a sauce. Never mind. Well, we, obviously, you didn't further your education. That's okay. You don't need to further it in college. But you know what would have been great is if you paid attention in high school. Brianna Facts. has been struggling with suicide since she was a child when her parents passed. Yeah, she's here and she fights. Just, yeah, I just, oh, this is, oh, I got to read it like Bree because this is definitely great. Yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. She's here and she fights every single day <laughs> to make herself better to make the world a better place for everybody <laughs> what kind of incoherent mind babble is that brie brie here i am right telling you that you are a piece of but there's time you can change no i don't think we can fix this one this is one of the crazy hot girls you just leave her alone you can flip this boat around you're 26 years old and you're fairly attractive get your freaking self checked out Get on some mental meds, work and progress through your issues, and maybe you can be a normal person. Fingers <laughs> crossed, but I'm not holding my breath. Best way to support the channel is to buy a shirt. <laughs> Boom! Clean shaven and misbehaving. Oh, and we got the new one of me moving sandbags. Army strunk. All right. Army strunk. I, put the I like that one. Shirt actually. Back up. It is Halloween time. October is just around the corner. Cheapest way to support the channel is leave a comment. Tell me your weird dating story. Keep you ready to support the channel is by subscribing, liking his video. The YouTube description will be down below for his video. For Tell this video, so if you want to watch it, down my reaction. I'm not. I can't. Crazy. I Past hear twelve. Your crazy dating stories. You have an ex like Bree. Do you? Are you married to? Oh. A person like Bree. Are you? Bree? Oh. Are you Bree? Hey yo. All right. <sighs> see you next time, weirdos. I'll uh, see you next time, AC, and hopefully. All right, everybody, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have a Brie in your life, let me know in the comment section. See you guys next time. Peace.